every night and see them rave. Far Circus put, uh, puts on a show for up to 450 people. Yes, sir. Uh, Craig Dodge is Director of Sales and Marketing, and he's going to show us around. Yeah, let's take you backstage. So one of the first things was our technician station. You know, the technicians didn't have a, a dedicated work area, so we built this for them. <clears throat> a lot of the props that you'll see on the stage tonight, they made. Um, we store, because we do off-site performances, like at hotels and uh, temple, we do t yep, entertain yep, at yep. temple dinners. Yep. This is where we store all the equipment. <clears throat> and as I mentioned when we were talking, this is, uh, this is part of our future. So yep. we bought that land behind us and we're developing it for an arts park, for uh -huh. an arts experience park during the day where people can come in and uh, try Carving, painting, dancing. So when but, do you expect that to be? Well, you know, COVID really put a, a wrinkle into the, the timeline. We don't have anything set right now because we're still recovering from COVID. So this was the, our wish list from our costume team. So we, we built this space for them to, uh, they design as well as maintain and clean all the yep. costumes in here. And make coconuts. You'll see in tonight's show, there's uh, some, it's a bar scene tonight. So they order coconut drinks. So they're just preparing the, the drinks for the coconut. But And I see the, the costumes are traditional Cambodian. Right, for some shows. So tonight it's a very modern contemporary show. So you don't see these kinds of costumes in it, but we do have them for different kinds of shows. Mostly the offsite uh, performances use these kind of costumes. But this was their wish list to have their own workspace. So before we move on, let's take a look backstage. So this is the artist, this is the artist entrance. And you can see that they've already got the everything all set up. <laughs> yep, so tonight you'll be sitting on that side. <laughs> How many people can you house? I'm you know, it depends if they're big like me or, or trim like you, because it's bench seating, you notice. Right. So uh, on average, we could accommodate comfortably 400 people. 400, yeah. uh, we've sometimes had as many as 450, but usually like when we know we're going to have a lot of student groups or uh, younger Asian clientele, mm -hmm. if we know we've got a lot of uh, series bookings with uh, Western, more elderly people, uh, we, we don't book as many so that people can be comfortable. So this is the makeup room. The artists primarily do the makeup themselves, um, but uh, we do also have a makeup artist that comes in to help them. And it's not like extravagant Cirque du Soleil kind of makeup. Mm. It's more uh, subtle for, makeup. For but, the lighting. Yeah, primarily. And this is our physiotherapy room. So uh, we're, we're very lucky. Um, we don't have, knock on wood, uh, <laughs> we don't have uh, any serious injury yeah. incidents, but we get repetitive use injuries. Uh, so, you know, by doing the same skill over and over, and it's very physically demanding. Mm, so be, yeah. we have a physiotherapist here uh, every night. And one of our artists. <laughs> this was one of our artists' wish list because when we were on the rented land, they had to share the same rest facilities as the guests. So when we moved to this land, they said one of the things that they wanted was their own, their own restroom and shower. So we built this men's and women's. It's got uh, facilities for uh, toilets and showers. This was another one of their wish lists to have a space where they could rehearse uh -huh. and, and yes, practice. Absolutely. So when, when you're in the show, you'll see that the, the big top stage is actually quite small. Yeah. So they can't rehearse multiple activities at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by having this space, they can rehearse different things Definitely. in different spaces. 
Um, and the other thing that we do here is uh, workshops. Mm -hmm. So a lot of student groups will book before the show. They'll do like a 90 minute workshop with our artists. They do that here. And this was their wish list. So pre-COVID, as I said, our artists are all from Battambang, right? Yep. So when they're performing here, we had rented a villa where they stayed when they were here. And then when the show changes, the artists change. You know, yep. one group goes back to Battambang, one comes here. During COVID, we had to let that villa go because we had no, no money. Um, and so the artists actually were, when we could perform in COVID, like when the government said it was okay, um, the artists would stay in the gym. You know, we told them, well, we, we, because there was no tourists, we, we lost a ton of money, mm -hmm. but we wanted them to keep working. So we, we had shows when we could, and they agreed to stay here. And they said, gosh, we kind of like staying here. We don't have to commute. So we built this for them. It's like dormitory accommodations. Oh, yep, yep. So one side for men, one side for women. And then that way they don't have to commute Mm -hmm. Showtime, it's much more relaxing. Complete with aircon. So now we've entered back into the cafe space. So initially when we built this, we had the covered space that was largely intended for groups. Um, but now it's just, it's just open. We'll have food stations everywhere. Um, sometimes groups here. Uh, we have a bar, small bar. And here we are back in the cafe. Back in the cafe. Back in the cafe. Come full circle. <laughs>